Tim Cannon accidentally made it too good. Absolutely. I feel like when I take it out, I should be using something more expensive. Yeah. It just doesn't feel right to be using, especially for if you're doing a commission shoot. Have you ever used this on a commission? I shot two friends' weddings with it last year, and the pictures look slick. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Yeah, and would you tell them that, yeah, this lens costs 60 quid? I shot those weddings with a Canon 6D and that, and that 50 mil, so with a setup that costs like 250 quid. Oh, we've got a little, little buddy. Whoa! <laughs> he just dropped a ball at my feet. Hello, mate. So, what don't you like about this Canon 50? I think the only, the only things I don't like, I have an argument as to why that's good. Like, it feels a bit cheap and nasty, it's a bit plasticky. But there's something that also just means it's really light. So there's that. There's no aperture ring. I do like an aperture ring. But on the 5D, you can just change the aperture at the top. You can look down and see the aperture you've got. So there's not really a trade off. Actually, in some ways, kind of prefer the top screen, mm -hmm. just having all your information there. In the, around the edges, it gets a bit dreamy, but that's kind of part of the charm of it, I think. It, I, I like, I like, the dream. I like, I like softening my images in post edits. I don't see how anyone would get into photography and develop a love and a passion for photography without trying lots of different stuff, without trying different focal lengths and trying film and trying digital. I studied photography at college. They just said you had to buy a 50mm lens. Really? That was it. They were like, you need a film SLR and a 50mm. That's what you had to get before you start the course. So did, that, did they tell you that it's good to learn on a 50mm and then go from there? <laughs> There's no explanation. Yeah. That was just like, that's what you need. <laughs> Because it was on those 80s film SLRs and they all came with like a 50mm 1.8 standard. Yeah. And I was just like, that's what you need. Yeah. I didn't even question it. I was like, okay, this is the lens. This is what you do for photography. Yeah, that's photography. I didn't even know, like I didn't know, I knew nothing about photography. I didn't know there were other lenses available. I just thought that was just the lens, <laughs> the lens that cameras came with. <laughs> oh, this comes off. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Who was your like big 50mm influences? Probably, I guess like, Robert Frank and Elliot Erwitt. Vivian Mayer as well, 50mm. Yeah. yeah. There, was, there was something about that I, that I really liked. It seemed like a really kind of intimate vocal length where it's maybe like one subject and uh, you get a real sense of character from it. Whereas with the wider focal lengths, it's more like what's happening in the environment. It's more of a, a scene, like a vignette or something. What I like about 50mm, it's probably easier to talk about what I don't like about 35mm or 28mm or like a wider lens. Everything is a bit too distorted. I find it easier to make a pleasing composition with 50mm. That's another thing, I shoot portrait a lot and 35mm portrait just kind of gets out of control. 28mm is just nuts in portrait, but 50mm seems to, seems to suit it really well. It was definitely driven by Instagram at first because like when I got into photography Instagram was what you did you just posted to Instagram and everyone was shooting verticals so naturally I was kind of drawn to it then after a while I felt like oh Instagram shouldn't be controlling the kind of photos that I like to take why why I first got the Canon 50 yeah. was because I was using the X-T2 for a long time and I was shooting at night during winter and I felt like it's really hard to look at a screen and then your eye adjusts to, to, uh, to like darkness at night. It's just really irritating, a really annoying experience. And I found that when I was shooting film cameras, I never had that issue. So the issue was the optical viewfinder versus the EVF, which led me to want to try a DSLR. So I went for Canon just out of I think maybe a 5D was the cheapest or something at that time. Got a cheap lens with it. Not really expecting anything at all with the 51.8. But then I got the 51.4 and I was like, oh wait, this 51.8 is actually better somehow. <laughs> 51.4, super soft. And very expensive. And really expensive. And heavy. Super heavy. It's not any faster to focus. I've got like three of them now. So I use them on film cameras as well, which is really, good about this lens, you just pop it on. A really cheap 
Canon EOS film body. I do. I'm, not, I'm never going to get rid. I mean, there's 50 mils like too cheap to sell. It's just no point. Yeah. I think secondhand they are like 60, 70 quid. I don't know. Yeah. This isn't an ad for MPB or anything. So. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> you might notice we actually don't have any sponsors on this channel anymore, but it's because we are sponsored by Framelines. Yeah. So we have the new magazine. It's just gone to print yesterday. Uh, it's going to be out in two weeks. <laughs> it's definitely out in two weeks. If you want to check out old issues, we've got some brilliant old issues with Mario Carcinelli, Andre Wagner, Polly B is in the last one. Yeah. Lots of great photographers. If you want a nice big discount, we have a Patreon you can join. We have a community, a Discord, chat about gear. We do regular meetups. And so we figured if we could actually really create a community, like something on a Discord server where people could share photos and talk about photos and talk about what they're up to and what gear they're experimenting with, that that would be cool. That would be interesting. But now it's kind of taking off. It's its, its own thing. There's lots of conversation every day when yeah. we check the Discord. We're chatting in it every day about gear, asking for advice, tips about printing, tips about editing. Yeah. Uh, we have the monthly assignments where we have about 100 people or so submitting their photos on a subject. We publish them in our newsletter and on our website and on our Instagram. And then a select go in the magazine as well. And we're just, everybody's, everybody involved is seeing and enjoying photography in a different way. Yeah, it really seems, uh, it seems like it's giving people motivation because every month there's a new street assignments challenge. Yeah. Uh, like last month was, was portraits. Yeah. So people were out taking portraits and submitting yeah. and it all goes in a big gallery on the website and people have a look at it. We post some to social media and then at the end, you know, we, we have a small selection in each magazine. Yeah. Um, and it really seems like people are enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, me too. So to round off, here are a few more photos we took with the Canon 50mm 1.8 on that day out in London. If you enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe and a big thank you for watching.